Hey coach, do you want to destroy defenses with the two-man snag but really don't know how to combat what the defense is doing? Well, I got the answer. Hey coach, Coach Mackey here and welcome to my channel. If this is the first time visiting my channel, welcome. And let me tell you what it's all about. I talk about the spread offense, passing schemes, running schemes, tempo, any and everything that has to deal with the spread offense, we talk about on this channel. So if that interests you, then hit the subscribe button down below and then right off to the side is a little bell. Click it so you can know when I post and when I go live. I love the two-man and three-man snag. I got it from Noel Mazzoni. He's a freaking genius. If you think differently, shut your freaking mouth. <laughs> but Sometimes the defense stops you, especially when you run it too much. And what I'm going to talk about today is how you can teach your players to find the empty space in between the, the corner, the safety, and the linebacker, and how you can now take that grass back, take that pass back, because the two-man uh, snag is nasty, and you can do a lot of things with it. So let's get into today's video. But before we do that, I have a Facebook group. It is a private Facebook group because I'm getting spammed like no other about the uh, athletic jerseys and stuff like that. So if you want in, if you want in with 1.8 thousand coaches learning about the spread, send a comment down below with just Facebook group and I will send you the link. Now let's get into the video. I found a playbook in Noel Mazzoni. I saw that play. I was like, oh, I like that. I'm horrible at coming up with names. I was like, uh, he, he calls that Exxon. I'm going to call it Exxon too. So that's what we do. And originally, we got away from the snag game. We, we went away from it. We went to stick. We went to corner because we had a dude at this Y. And I'm going to bring it up real quick. Hopefully, this looks good and everything. So we went away from running the snag because we had a guy at the Y. And we wanted everything to go through him. We wanted stick to go through him. We wanted uh, uh, Y corner to go through him, Y cross, Y sail, Y, 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 because <laughs> he was really good. Now he's playing at Western Kentucky. And it, the offense didn't seem to click like it used to. So what did we do? Well, we went back to the snag game. And then the Chevron and Exxon it started working in practice, but then defenses kind of took it away. But this is the key that we did. Now, I'm sure a lot of y'all were in three by one, right? Three by one to the right. We're running the two-man snag to the single receiver and the tailback. Defenses kind of do this now, don't they? I, I, this is what we see. The corner will squat, get the flats. The safety will kind of play over top in case anything goes deep, and then this linebacker stays in the box. So they've got you outmatched three over two. So if you run it normally where the y, the L is running six to seven yards into the B gap, sitting down, and the tailback is running the swing, they got you covered. They got everything matched, uh, uh, matched up. You can't do anything. But here's the thing. What you do is you tell your L, hey, that is your aiming point, but if that linebacker doesn't move – what you need to do is you need to find grass, take grass. So what we say is if someone crosses your face, you cross theirs, then you put your toe in the ground, you sit down. But what if this linebacker doesn't move? What if he doesn't follow this tailback because this linebacker knows that this corner has outside leverage and he's got anything to the flat? So he's going to sit here and wait for any RPO or any snag game or any quick game, a slant or something like that. What do you do? Well, you just teach your L – or your guys in general, that this is your aiming point. But if there is a grass right there, to sit in that grass, and the quarterback will find you. Very simple. Don't run all the way to this linebacker and sit in this B gap and then wonder why you don't get the ball. What you need to do is you need to, oh, there's a guy sitting right here. Right here in this gap. Why in God's name am I going to run straight to him and have him cover me up? Don't. You're aiming for this point, but if he sits there, then you just settle up in that grass area. Now, what do we do backside? We've changed, we've gone straight up simple. We want to go as simple as possible. And for those coaches that are just joining us, I am talking about why you need to run the two man snag and what to do when teams match you up and they're three over two on the backside. And what you do is you just teach your L to sit up in grass. And if you're joining us, listen, it sounds okay. Please, hopefully this isn't a goof. I've, I've almost tried this four times now. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know that it's okay and tag another coach in this. And if it sounds good, just in the comments, could you put sounds good so I know you don't even have to say anything. All right, now we're talking about backside. And what I want is I want everything simple because if you've been following along, I have we have kids going both ways, offense and defense. So we can't get as, as in-depth as we want. We've had to roll things back a little bit. And what we've done is a lot of our stuff on the backside, we got double slants. But the thing is we have an aiming point. So it kind of turns into a skinny post, I guess you could say. His aiming point is three steps, and then he's aiming for this far upright. 
And the reason why we want that is for the quarterback and for the wide receiver, they have a landmark, almost like Y corner, where you know if you're outside the 20-yard line, it's front pylon, inside the 20, it's the back pylon. Well, we want the same thing. We want landmarks, so there's no guessing where people will be. Three-step po- uh, slant front are uh, the opposite uh, upright. The R is three steps, and then he is aiming for the upright to his side. And all the quarterback is doing is he's taking a quick three, one, two, plant, and he's going swing, snag, slant, slant, and then the F is running to the flat. That's what we do, and we drill that in. Swing, snag, slant, slant, flat. And we tell the F, just like we tell our back and all the other things, if you're wide open, so wide open, no one's within you, and you can catch the ball and you can get 10 yards, you better be calling ball, ball, ball. And we are training our cat, our quarterback. I don't know why I said cat. (laughs) That if he hears a ball, ball, ball call, he immediately turns and throws it. He throws it to the ball call because he knows that someone's wide open. And it that takes time, but our kids are starting to get it, and it's wide open. So there you go. I'm going to take questions. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments right now. I just wanted to cover this real quick because I know that this is a nasty, devastating play. You just got to kind of teach it a different way because defenses are getting smart. Okay. Coach Martinez, I combine Exxon and Chevron into one play. If it's an automatic five-man protection, rule is T and F have automatic flat routes, outside receivers, snag over number two alley, quarterback is taught to treat backside Exxon as the gift. Hey, that's good. You can do that. I, I really like that. And in fact, you know this, Coach. Uh, that's how uh, Coach Mazzoni kind of stumbled upon this play when he had Philip Rivers. He tells that story all the time where it was just at a blue green and they ran the same thing on both sides. And what Philip Rivers did, I'm talking like I know, <laughs> I know him personally, is he comes up. If it's too high, he's going one way. If it's one high, he's working the other way. And they marched all the way down the field. And really, uh, Phil, Coach Coach Rivers, Philip Rivers was getting on Noel Mazzoni's case, like, hey, we need to run this. We need to run this. Run it this way. It's going to work. It's going to work. And he kind of did it as an FU. Hey, Philip, it's not going to work. FU. And you know what? I'm big time like that. I'm going to lay it out on line. You go ahead and you call it first drive. And Coach Mazzoni said it just kept working. He, he, uh, he ran it and it worked. And Rivers looked to the sideline and did this little thing. And he was like, yeah, sure, whatever. Do it again because it's not going to work. You just got lucky. And then he hit it again. He hit another rod receiver. And Rivers did it again, and Mazzoni eventually was like, yeah, go ahead, call it, because you don't know what you're doing. I'm the main guy. So he kept just dinking and dunking all the way down the field, and they scored, and that was when Coach Mazzoni was like, holy crap, (laughs) that actually worked. So you're absolutely right, Coach. And another thing, Coach didn't bring it up, but if you get good at this, you can do like a lot of different combinations backside. You can do screens, tunnel screens, quick screens, anything like that. This is a basis that you can attach this game to anything you want if your players understand it. So I'm glad you brought that up, Coach. Coach Anderson, could you pair a two-man snag with a front side concept and let the quarterback go to the side he likes? Yeah, just like Coach said, you can do it with the uh, Exxon and Chevron. Two-man snag over here, and you can run three-man snag to this side right here. And what I really like is if you can teach your guys, okay, I don't know how many, if, if, if y'all get this, just type in special down below in the comments. But we are starting to see a lot of this kind of uh, route combinations or route coverages where this cornerback is man on the R, these two right here, the safety in the back, key two to three. So this is the number two, this is the three, and they key this. Well, if that's the case and you kind of do something like this, That corner will run. You can almost have a natural pick right here and tell your quarterback, hey, when I call this play and you see that corner press, this is kind of what we're thinking. You just quickly throw it to the flats. And you got a lot of space for your guy, especially if it's the F. That's your really fast guy to get the ball and go. All right, I run many of his gas station families. Yeah, and see, the crazy thing is he was a pro-style, Coach Mazzoni was a pro-style kind of guy based on a lot of interviews and a lot of things he said in clinics and stuff like that until he stumbled upon, upon uh, how mummy stuff. And the very first route he loved was the Y cross. And then that just kind of morphed into what he's doing now. And I, I know a lot of people give him shit, but I, I freaking love his stuff. I love everything that he's done. He's really helped the game of football with these kind of things. So, you know, still from the best, <laughs> still from the best. That's what we do. All right. Any other questions? Is, any, is everything okay on this? I just really wanted to go over the two-man snag on this. Let me draw up how you can run this out of um, blue and green. So let's do blue. So this is what we have over here. 
So now instead of the tailback running the flat, the F is running the swing. And then you still have your slant, slant, flat right there. And nothing changes for the quarterback. You still got swing, snag, slant, slant, flat. It's a thing of beauty. I really like this, especially if you have two backs. A lot of coaches ask, hey, coach, we have two backs. We really don't have an F. What do we do? Can we run this system? And you can run everything out of two back, this formation right here, and you can motion him. You can do a lot of things, but this is something I really like to do. All right. So coaches, I appreciate it. again. I thank you so much for joining me real quick on this uh, teaching Monday. I love talking with y'all. Thank you for joining. If you like this, if you have anything, any other questions or comments, leave them in the comments below. 